Hello, this is Greg Brzezinski for Beard Brand, and I'm here today at Men's Club Barbershop with Justin to get my hair cut. What's up, guys? This is Justin Polisi from the Men's Club Barbershop. Um, Greg, thanks for coming through. What are you looking to get done today? I always kind of lean on you to uh, get some of your expertise in here, but I, I know I do want this considerably shorter on the sides. I've been growing the beard a little bigger, and I want to see yeah, a big beard with uh, fairly tight sides. Okay. Um, um, some off the top, but not too much. And, and I want to cut pretty much symmetrical so I can flip it to both sides. Gotcha. And tight, like skin tight, or a little bit longer than the skin? Um, how about a little longer than the skin? Okay. But not much. I mean, I want it pretty short. Okay. All right, so first I'm just going to kind of wet the hair, kind of put it in place to the way I think I want it to lay. See where it's naturally parted and go from there. When dealing with hair this long, I typically like to uh, start off with a bigger clip just to be safe. Get a lot of the weight out of there, everything out of the way for a clean, fresh start. So what do you have on the clipper right there? Uh, this is a three clip. Kind of just takes a, it's a good amount to take off for the first, for the first go around here. But that all depends too, depending upon the hair length and what we're trying to achieve. Do you sense any difference when you're cutting gray hair uh, as opposed to hair that hasn't uh, changed color yet? Yeah, yeah, it's actually harder to cut. How so? Um, because there's two different colors in the hair, so it looks like the lines can be deceiving. Like if you're doing a fade, and um, you know, there's you have gray, white, and a little bit of darker hair here, so there might be, there might not be a line, but the difference in color tend to look like there might be a line, and you're yeah, I have some, there, some patches of gray hair. Yeah. It's not like, yeah, really like right here. Real. Right here, it's, yeah, it's, right it's there. white, like almost black, and yeah. then a little bit of white and gray in there. And some people will say you got it cut too close exactly. there, and in yeah. reality, exactly. it's just that it's the uh, light here. Yes. Now that I got all the weight out of the way, I'm going to go in with the one clip. Kind of, that's probably going to be my lowest point. Um, and just work my way around, make a clean line all the way around. Next thing I'll go in with the two clip and kind of just blend that up into the three. Just go right around the head like I did with that one clip. Open and close the clipper as I go to blend that line out between the two and the three. Then I'll go back in with my one and a half, which is my one clip with the clipper all the way open to get this line out between the one and the two. Sometimes you might have to adjust the clipper, open and close it. Hair tends to be different, grows in different directions around the head, so you just have to work with it. Use your lever. Now for the next step, I'm just going to taper out his neckline, just have a natural finish on the back of the neck here. I'll start off with the clipper all the way closed, establish a guideline.
Now I'll open the next one up all the way. And then start closing it as I go down to just gradually fade that line out. And then for the sideburns, I'm going to take them in a little tighter too, just for the simple fact that, same with the back of the neck, um, sideburns in the back of the neck, you always want to take at least a half a clip shorter than the rest of the head because they tend to grow out the bushiest and the fastest. So if you can take them down just a little bit more, it'll save them a couple days on the cut. So the transition between the beard and the hair, what do you normally do or what do you like to do? Uh, I typically like to freehand that. I'll use this, generally I'll use this clipper here and I'll just kind of come in and just pick that out a little bit. Nothing crazy, you can't really go too low. You really have just a small space to work there. Now for the next step, I'm gonna take my Indus trimmer and I'm just gonna clean up around his ears and the back of his neck here. I know that my hair grows pretty tight to my ear. Yeah. That's why it's, it's a good thing that most ears are uh, movable. And now for the top. Since Greg wants it cut symmetrical, I'm going to part it on both sides here and leave weight on both sides. Do the same thing on this side. That way he'll be able to uh, comb it either side. I'm just going to trim your ends in. Now typically the way I start a scissor cut up top, I'll pull the mohawk back, create my guide. And then after I do that, I'll come back in and do a mohawk pretty much throughout the entire top just to kind of cross check, make sure everything's cut relatively even. And then I'll come back in and scissor over comb the sides here to kind of blend them all in with everything else. And now to kind of blend all of this in, I'm just going to comb all of this straight forward down towards like an angle there, just to kind of blend all that in and make sure it's all symmetrical on both sides. That way he can go back, side to side, whatever he wants to do, whatever style he wants to achieve.
Now I'm going to blow dry it and uh, going to kind of just see where everything lays and then if I have to go back in, I'll typically go back in with maybe thinning shears to take some weight out of here or wherever I have to go into to take some weight out of. Just makes a huge difference right in here. So the product that I'm using now is just kind of a lighter, girtier hold. Um, super thin, really easy to work in. Kind of just to achieve any style. It's really good for any texture hair, really. You only need about a dime size or so. Just kind of... Now that you're done with this video, head over to our shop and treat yourself to some fine beer brand products. If you're not already a subscriber, be sure to hit that button and keep on watching some more of our awesome videos.